So yeah, my my no, it ain't turning on. I don't know what's going on, but let's go. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank Be Chopping, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, we're actually gonna be doing another unboxing. Uh, I was really excited to get this in, so we're actually gonna be unboxing the new bevel clipper and trimmer. Let's get it. All right, guys, so check it out. Here is the box. As you can see, we got we got a pretty nice box here. I'm, I'm impressed with the box, the, you know, the whole packaging. It just, it looks legit, man. Like, it, it looks really nice, really good. Once again, guys, if you did pre-order this, you do get the T-Blade with it. So we're gonna do an unboxing of both of these things right quick. Uh, once again, guys, that packaging looks really, really nice. I really like the packaging on it. They did a good job with the packaging, so y'all check that out. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, get the plastic off of here. We can see this box a little better. See, I take that box out, man. This box, super fire. That's actually a really good haircut. But this box is super fire. Back looks nice. You know what I'm saying? Like the detail on this thing is, it's legit, man. It's, it's a nice box. But we didn't come here for this box. You know what I'm saying? We came to see what's inside. Normally, I want to go through this and read it, but I want to get a look at this clipper first. Let me go ahead and open this thing up. I didn't want to rip this, so it took me a while to get it off. But y'all check it out. All right, so we got this part out of the thing finally. We got a nice all black box. It says Bevel. It says Bevel Pro on it. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. And we got the Bevel Pro clipper and trimmer. It looks nice, let's take this out of here. This is the new Bevel Pro clipper and trimmer. That's the blade that it comes with. It's, it's, it's not too heavy, it's a little heavy. Uh, let's look what else comes in here. So then we can take this part off. We have the pamphlet that I may actually have to read this time. You know, normally I chunk them, but for whatever reason, I don't think there's an on button on this thing. They might not want to turn on, I don't know where the on switch is at. So I'm actually going to have to read it to see how to turn this thing on. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and see what else it comes with. We're going to open up this one right here. Take this box out of here. So this one, we, what we got right here? Okay, we got a carrying case. We got some oil. What else we got? We got a brush that just fell. We got the guards. So it does come with its own guards. Not uh, not every guard is gonna fit this clipper. Obviously, it's got its own guard, so that's cool right there. Let's take out another box. Let's start with this top one. So in here, we actually got this. I'm assuming this is the extra blade that it comes with uh, for trimming and lining up. So y'all check that out. So this is the trimmer blade. Put that to the side. And then the last box that's in here, let's take this out, see what's in here. So here's the charging cord, put that to the side. So yeah, my, my no, it ain't turning on. I don't know what's going on, but. To turn both on and off, place your thumb on the power switch button and push slide up until you feel a slight click. So it just ain't turning on. Wow. But I guess, yeah, it is what it is, man. Uh, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Mine didn't turn on. Uh, I was excited to use it. I don't know, I'm gonna put on a charger real quick. Hopefully that, that does something, let me see. But if not, that's it for this video, guys. I'm kind of upset that this thing came and out the box, it did not work. Wow. I've never had that issue before, ever. All right, so that's it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. I have not turned this on for y'all yet, so let's turn this thing on. And there, there it is. That's the new bevel clipper and trimmer combo. Uh, we're gonna put this to use. You know what? I still gotta unbox the bevel trimmer blades. So let me put this to charge real quick. Here is the bevel T blade. So once again, guys, it does come with the regular trimmer blade. I don't know what to do with it. I was right here. Here is the regular trimmer blade, but I wanted the T blade. So luckily, when you order this clipper, uh, at the time that I ordered it, they gave me they they were given a free trimmer blade with it. Or I'm sorry, a free T blade with it. So this is the T blade. Nice little packaging on here. Also, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so y'all check it out. Here is the T blade. 
So it looks really similar to the regular blade. Only difference is obviously it uh it's you know it's a T blade. But let's check out the clipper one more time. I didn't mess with these buttons. I didn't want to mess with those buttons. So that's on, right? Let's let's see what happens when we press this button right here. Or maybe you gotta turn it off to do it. Okay, so you can hold the button to open it all the way and then close it to close it all the way. And then hold it up to close it all the way. Now, let's check that out. I don't know if y'all can see the blade moving. Let me see if I can move this camera a little bit. All right. Let's But that is the blade moving up and back. Uh, it doesn't come zero gap out of the box, obviously. I'm not even sure how to zero gap this, so I'm not even gonna try to zero gap it. But let's pop this off. Let's see how it looks with the T-blade, or with, yeah, with the trimmer blade on it. Turn this thing on with the trimmer blade. That's how it sounds with the trimmer blade. Let's turn this thing off. Let's see if we can, can we move this blade up? Yep, we can move this blade up and back also. It does move, so I don't know. We can open and we can close this trimmer blade, so that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. Uh, I'll probably just keep it closed. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna let this charge up, I'm gonna put it to use. I only have a few more haircuts to do today, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this, uh, wait for my next client to come in, I'm gonna use it on and I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about it. Let's get it. Uh -huh. Is it? Yeah. Is like one of his first ones? Yeah, I'll make your city my city. I might say stuff from um, like safe distance or something, but we're gonna have his own day here soon. Yeah. Gonna be like winning yeah. trade. And he's always winning the fun. Like he goes to the rodeo here too. I was feeling he's gonna pop up on Friday. Oh, yeah, sure. So he's like spreading. He's like, now that I'm healthy, I don't need to wear that. Yeah, keep popping that one. Oh, Who's the, who's the, uh, I'm gonna send it this time. Hey, right. one more.
is the bevel clipper trimmer. So this is the actual, the clipper head on there. Let me just show y'all this blade opening and closing. See, I see that blade opening up and then you press the top one to close it. And then if you wanted to switch the head to the trimmer head, you'd have to pop that one off and then put the trimmer head. This is the original trimmer head that comes in the box. And you put it on like that. Let me turn this on for you. And then you can move this blade up and down also. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really didn't use that, but that's the blade that comes in the box. But you know, if you pre-ordered, you did get a free T-blade. So this is the T-blade, so I'm gonna pop this on for y'all. There it is, popped on with the T-blade. So before I say anything, let's really look at this box. I didn't, I didn't really get to look at the box earlier. So let's go ahead and check this out. So you get four hours of cordless consistent power is what it says. It tells you what it includes. So it does include five guards. You get the zero guard, the one guard, the two guard. Here are all the guards right here, man. They're, they're magnetic. So you get the zero guard, the one, the two, the three, and the four. Let's see what else this box says. Uh, six 6,000 RPM motor. Go from clipper to trimmer by simply snapping on and off the included hair clipping and trimming blades. No tools are required. Now that's true, you don't need an extra tool. You can just uh, snap it on and off. The bevel dial LED display, all new LED smart display delivers precise gap adjustments from 0 0.0 to 2.5 millimeters in 0.1 millimeter increments. Power fade gap control, more precise cuts happen happen with our advanced leverless gap adjustments. Our powered gap adjustment system opens and closes the blade with the touch of a button. Pivot lock, powerful guards keep the, ma powerful magnets keep the guards on securely during use. Uh, consistent power up to four hours. Black graphite coated stainless steel to help reduce friction and prolong blade life. But yeah guys, so that's basically the box. So it does come in a nice box. Uh, like I said guys, you do get these four guards. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man, putting these guards on and off, before I do that, let me switch this. So my initial thoughts on this, guys, uh, I don't know yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really, like, I'm gonna be 100 with y'all. I'm not the biggest fan of this, and I'm gonna give y'all a few reasons why. Uh, so th this is the guard, this is the clipper head. To put the guard on, it's kind of difficult. For one, it has to like slide in perfectly, and then you have to put the magnet on, and then to take it off, you can't just pull it off. So you gotta like stick something in here to kind of, you gotta pry it off kind of, you know what I'm saying? Even with any guards you use, especially with the smaller guards, with the bigger guards, it's easier to take off. But with a number one guard, you can't just pull it off. You gotta like stick your finger in here to get it off. And that can be kind of kind of a nuisance, you know what I'm saying? And then, so I get what they were trying to do with the lever thing, but it honestly makes it longer for me to cut hair. Like I can get a haircut out in 30, 45 minutes. But when I use this thing with the opening and closing of the lever, it took me every minute of 45 minutes. Like I was barely on schedule cutting 45 minute increments. And normally I could do it in 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? So this kind of is an issue with having an open and close because it's, it's, it's innovative what they're doing, but it isn't really practical because if you want to open and close this blade, you got to hold it. You see what I'm saying? And that's all the way open. So if I wanted to close it halfway, half a 2.5 is what, 1.2? So you'd have to close it to 1.2, get it on there perfect. And then you can press the button once or twice and it'll close or open, but that's, man, that just seems like it's too much, right? And then when it comes to taking this blade off, like, yeah, it seems easy, you know what I'm saying? It's not that hard, but when you're in the fucking shop cutting with it, it's, it becomes an, an issue having to switch it on and off. And then the way I cut, I don't think this is a good tool for me because I do one side of the head at one time. So I like to ball out with my trimmer first and then I take the trimmer, I'm gonna have to take the trimmer blade off. I'm gonna have to put my clipper blade on there. I'm gonna have to snap it on, cut, open and close my levers, whatever, and then take it off again to put my trimmer blade on there. So now I'm gonna put my trimmer blade on there. Now I gotta snap it on again and you see I'm having an issue here. Then I gotta line them up and then I like to go back in detail. So now I gotta take this off again and put my clipper blade on there and start messing with it to detail. So it does take a little longer when you're using it. Now, as far as how is it cut so far, I mean, it seems like it cuts all right. Now I haven't really put it to the test and cut a lot of heads. I only cut like three or four of them yesterday. And honestly, this was the first clipper that I used 
that I put it down mid haircut. Like I was using this to do a haircut and I switched. So I was like, you know what? I don't got time for this. And I moved this clipper to the side. And that's saying a lot because you know your boy uses a lot of different tools. I know how to use almost every clipper out on the market and I can use any clipper from start to finish. But this one, it was just taking me too long. It was being really tedious. So I, was, I wasn't really feeling it. Now, am I gonna keep this in my rotation? Probably not. If I do keep it in my rotation, I'm probably gonna take the clipper blade off and just put on the trimmer blade and probably just leave that for balding out. That's probably the only thing I'm gonna use this for. So is it worth it? Not in my opinion. And the reason why I'm telling you all this now is because I don't think I'm gonna do a review for this clipper because I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore. And I'm just being 100% honest with y'all. I just think Bevel has a lot of kinks to work out before this like takes off in the market. Now, like I said, it, it cuts all right. It don't cut bad, but it's just tedious with taking the blade off, putting the guards on there. I just feel there's, there's a lot of little kinks they need to work out before you know this clipper company or this clipper becomes a fan favorite. Once again, guys, that's just my opinion. But nonetheless, guys, that's basically it for this video. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.